Hello. Today we're going to be looking at some of the remote controls used to on the uh, used by the Actors Bible web interface to control the presenter. Um, so up here in the top right corner, you can see the act selection and the scene selection. So I'm going to go to the first scene of the first act, uh, creation in six days. So you can see some kind of some things are moving around as it, as it adjusts to the new scene. Once everything's kind of stopped, that means it's all loaded in. Um, I'm going to select the first um, snapshot, which kind of saves all the settings for the beginning of the scene. In the future, this will be selected automatically. Uh, for now, it's manual. Um, and then in the most basic functionality of uh, the presenter, you can just hit play and let it roll through let the teleprompter roll through the scene and everything will automatically play. So I'm kind of skipping forward a little bit to get to some of the later scenes. So now that we're here in the garden, I'm going to skip ahead even further by selecting a different scene um, that takes place in the same act. And you can see some of the remotes have changed. Um, I don't know about this scene, roll through. And you see uh, some of the settings have changed on these uh, remotes to reflect uh, the darker tone of this scene. Um, and that, that's reflected in the visuals. Um, so for an example, I can change how intense the dust is. We wanted a lot of dust. Or I can bring it back down. I can also manually trigger objects like the flaming sword that is for the end of the scene, but I triggered it early just by clicking this button. Um, most, uh, most objects have lots and lots of settings attached to them so that the user can uh, configure the scene to their, to their heart's content. Um, Right. 